When you're finished with a normal mower, you just put it away in the shed or in the garage and it's safe. So no one's going to come along and nick it. The problem with an auto mower is it hangs out in the garden all the time. It's just here on its own 24 seven. So what is there to stop people from just coming along and taking a very expensive robot lawnmower? Well, there are four basic security measures built into the auto mower. Let's look at what they are. If you want to take control of an auto mower, you need to get access to the control panel and it has a pin on it. So the very first thing you need to do is enter the pin before you can do anything. You can't start it, you can't make it park, you can't change any settings. Basically you can't do anything unless that pin is entered. The second security feature involves the base station. The base station itself has the boundary wire which runs all the way around the area that's going to be mowed so that the mower knows that it hasn't reached the boundary yet. The boundary wire sends out a signal which the mower can detect and each base station has its own signal. They've all got their own unique code and the mower is paired to it. That means if you steal the mower and then you try to run it off a different base station, it won't work. You have to pair the mower to the base station, otherwise it's useless. But to demonstrate the third security feature, I'm going to need these. If we go into the menu and see what the options are, one of these is the security settings. So I'll go across to security and it needs your pin again just to verify that you can change the settings. And then it's got security level setting. So I'll go into that and we can see that it's got low, medium, high and custom. By default I think the mower comes with medium as the security setting. I've changed it to high. What that does is enable the alarm which detects if the mower has been picked up or tilted. So now let's see what happens if someone tries to steal this without putting the pin in first. I'm going to need these. I think it's a bomb. And now that I've entered the pin to silence the alarm, you can see that it's got a report on the screen saying that it stopped and the alarm went off. So if you come back to your mower and you open it and you see that there's a notice on there, you know that someone's been interfering with it. And the fourth security option, which is used on some models, is that if they have GPS built into them and they have the mobile phone control module, which allows the mower to connect to the cell phone network, if the mower is stolen, it can report its position back to your phone. So it knows where it is using GPS, it connects to the mobile phone network, sends you a message so you can hunt them down and get your mower back. That's just the built-in security mechanisms. So I think Husqvarna have done a pretty good job of making these things either difficult to steal or useless if you do steal them. And of course if someone stole it and they couldn't use it, that'd be really annoying because you're still missing a mower, but it does reduce the temptation a little bit. But it can go even further than that. What you can do is modify the mower itself. For example, if you are familiar with the tile or um, tracker, little Bluetooth low energy tags that are usually attached to keys and those sorts of things, what you could do is grab one of those and glue it inside the body of the mower somewhere where it's not going to be seen. Paint it black, nobody will even see it. But if the mower goes into the proximity of someone with a mobile phone with a tracker or tile app running on it, it'll report back its position. Once again, you can hunt down the perpetrators. But what I also have in mind is making a little device which will plug into the USB port on this to get power and report back activity and uh, various other things to my home automation system. So in a future Superhouse episode, I'm going to show how I'm going to link this to my home automation system to do data reporting and it can do things like send an alert if it's being stolen. So make sure you check that out.